I mean, it is what it is. It's a three-game losing streak because we run over and over, guys. If we don't rebound, then we're not going to win basketball games. And I don't know what the final number was, but I bet it's approaching 30 offensive rebounds. I felt like our defense was pretty solid. They missed shots, and they get offensive rebounds, and they get offensive rebounds. And you cannot win unless you get on the glass. And this basketball team right now is really struggling figuring out a way to rebound a basketball. With the size that you have, why is that? I don't know. I wish I knew. Um, I will tell you that the the physical ailments that Sydney's going through really hurts us because she is a rebounding force and she is she's really struggling right now. Um, so her minutes are limited. That being said, we've got others that have the ability to rebound, and just we just didn't get it done tonight. And and I don't really know why. And that's that's the frustrating part about it is. I think that's now six or seven losses this year by four points or less. You know, I don't think this team realizes how close they are if they just do the little things right now. As far as you get going, obviously you've got a big game with Oakland still right. on the schedule, but how do you get things right be to, to make a run in the conference tournament? Well, I think the only thing to do now is we take tomorrow off, and then we get back in, we watch a lot of film on Wednesday, and... Um, and do a lot of rebounding drills. We will do rebounding drills until they're sick and tired of seeing rebounding drills. So no matter what happens at Oakland, whether we shoot well or not, we will rebound the basketball, and then we'll get ready for the conference tournament. I, you know, the, the thing about this, guys, is it's anybody's game once we get out there. And obviously we're going. So we just have to try to fine-tune some things and get better at the things that continue to plague us. You know, not only the rebounding, but not being able to consistently get our offense going. And once again, I don't want to sound like I'm making excuses, but I think that makes us one in five in games where we don't have Courtney Reed out front. I think that speaks for itself. When you lose your point guard out front, you can see we're having a tough time getting any type of flow offensively. So it is what it is. We've got to try to regroup and, and get ready for a really, really good Oakland team on, on Saturday. What is the status on Courtney Courtney, we're hoping to get her back from the tournament, um, but it's very unlikely right now. Very unlikely. That knee is, um, you know, there's a lot going on in that knee. She needs to have another surgery. She's already had one. She needs to have another one. So even if she does come back and play at the tournament, she's going to have a big brace on her leg. Um, so her minutes are going to be very limited. Back to the, back to the game. It just it looked like they they came out and missed the first 11 shots. Right. And you guys, it, it, you guys couldn't take advantage of that. No, besides Ambosi, you know she's continuing to be phenomenal, game in and game out, and I'm talking about the second half. Huh? Oh, I'm talking the about second the second half. half. Yeah, I, I, good looks. You know, I felt like we were getting pretty good looks there. Um, why we can't make shots at times, I, I don't really know. But if you, I bet if you go back and look at the film, a lot of them weren't the shots that we drew up or what the play was designed for. They missed eleven. And, and, you guys, and we couldn't take advantage couldn't of it. Take advantage that's of that's it. that's what I mean. Is then we would come down the other end and not really get the type of look that we were looking for. Um, I, I, I'm speechless on why we go through stretches where we can't shoot the basketball. Mm -hmm. We we are really really streaky at times. Yeah. You know, we're really streaky at times. And I thought their interior passing kind of just carved you up a little bit. Uh, they yeah, did. They, you know, they, and that's a lot of lot of cutting toward the basket. Well, we're trying. We were trying to switch one through four. And there just wasn't enough communication. There wasn't enough communication. So when we made the switch and then we had our four player, a lot of times it was Eva or a lot of times it was Sid, there wasn't communication with the guard. And then they come together and we don't switch. And then we give up a layup. So. And a little bit about your seniors. Well, obviously i got to go up there and talk about them in about five minutes. And it's always difficult when you lose a basketball game. But um, it's three, three very, very good kids that, that, um, that we're going to miss. You know, not only not only basketball wise, but um, but people wise. I mean, they're good people. They're good students. They're good teammates. They've never caused any problem off the floor. I just wanted to send them out on a positive note. That's all, and that's what I'm disappointed with.